Hello children. Today we will learn about pictographs. Let us understand what is a pictograph and where do we use it in real life. Watch this video and tell whether you face such situations in your day-to-day -day life. Aman along with his 14 friends go to an ice cream vendor. The flavors that were available were mango, strawberry, orange and chocolate. All the children ordered ice creams from these four flavors. Let us see what all did they order. Aman ordered his favorite flavor strawberry, Pihu wanted mango, Anna wanted chocolate, Dia chocolate, Shan orange, Raghav also wanted chocolate flavor. Anu strawberry same as Aman and Ivan mango, Saloni chocolate, Paki and Japesh wanted chocolate. Sumit wanted an orange flavor, Neha also wanted orange, Naira and Reha wanted mango flavor. The ice cream vendor got confused. He could not remember what all ice creams to give. In that case, what should he do? Yes, you're right. He should list down their preferred ice cream on a paper. He wrote down all the available flavors of ice creams in a table. That is mango, strawberry, orange and chocolate. Then he drew one slanting line in the next column for each preference. These lines are called tally marks. Aman, strawberry, pihu, mango, ahna, chocolate, diya, chocolate, shan, orange, raghav, also chocolate flavor, anu, strawberry, same as aman and ivan, mango, saloni, chocolate, Paki and Chapesh wanted chocolate. Sumit orange, Neha also orange, Naira and Reha mango. Here for every response we laid one tally mark and for every fifth response cross the set of four tally marks to make a group of five. So with this tally mark table it is now easier for the ice cream vendor to give ice creams to children. We can also show this information in a pictograph. In pictographs, we use pictures or symbols to represent information. Have a look on a pictograph with the same information. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you. Have a nice day. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.